Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get back on these bad boys. Yeah, man. I went and I got them out of temper and all that, and I cleaned them up on the surface grinder, and then I went to the bearing races, and I had to hit them with a carbide bit because they're hardened, and I went too far on this, on this one, <laughs> but I realized if I go a little bit farther and I put a washer behind the bearing, it's all perfectly fits. So, uh, man, yeah, I thought I messed it up, but we got it down. It's nice and perfect, and uh, time to clean these all up, do the backspaces and all that. I'll make sure to put my website up in the cards. It's the first down in the link, along with Amazon links and all that good stuff. Do me a favor, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, all that good stuff. All right, let's get to the grinder. All right, I got Ward 50. I'm just going to bring this down, the backspacer, clean it up. And then I'll take the, the blades out and clean up because I want to make sure this is all nice and polished and looking good before I uh, release that lock bar. You can see where I messed up and I put in this side on the wrong side. In fact, it was in that video, two videos ago I put up where I said, make sure the pin is up so you know you're on the wrong side. The next time I drilled, I, I did the wrong side. <laughs> Take your own damn advice. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna cut this with the bandsaw, I'll make it a lot quicker. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do jimping. I can always do it below. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, well, these are sunken, so I don't have to worry. But these aren't. <laughs> Luckily, I made this jig last time. <laughs> I'm gonna make this easy on myself. This needs to be shorter. And I'm gonna make it shorter, but I'm gonna make it arc. That way, when this is in, yeah. All right, that should be better. Yeah, that way I can hold it, pivot it in, and do whatever. Let me take these apart and then we'll do these handles. I might just do these separate. I went ahead and just hit these on the flats. I didn't feel like moving the cameras. You know, I just hit them flat. Yeah, so let's chamfer them all up and see what we got. I almost forgot to put these two together. The guy I sold the last knife to, he said I should put like a thumb ramp in there. So I can do that afterwards. All right, I just want to get this all chamfered up. So when I release the lock bar, when I release the Kraken, <laughs> it'll be good.
I gotta take these things apart. Then we'll see them for <laughs> Boom. All right. I got the other one to do. I'm just gonna do that off camera. Same thing. I keep thinking the camera's too dark because I got these on. <laughs> Woo! Check it out. So I got the, the jimpy figured out for this one. And uh, I figured I better run up and get the cameras even though it's midnight. What I did is I took a jig because these things are so small. I took a jig and drilled a hole in it because they're tapped. Now I'm just gonna have to clamp it down. All right, I'll show you here. All right, first I'm going to touch off, so there's zero. Now I'll bring it out, come over 0.25, lock her down. Now, all right, two five is going to be my number, and then when I touch off here, I'm going to zero the Y. And uh, let me bring this down so we're good. Now carbide, so we're at a high speed. Let me put my let me put my headphones on and we'll just rock this thing. That was gonna happen. That's all right. No, it's not all right, but it happens. <laughs> so there's our zero. Here we go again. Touching you there, but we got it. Boom. I'm gonna have to clean these out. I can see the marks from where they were grinded. I mean, grinded, where they were milled. But uh, let's put these together and I'll see what we got. Boom. There we go. Now, I showed this to my friend, and he uh, he said what I should do is bring the jimping all the way down to the end. I kind of like it where it stops at the transition like this. But let me know in the comments. Should I take it all the way down? I guess I'll try it and uh, see what see what it looks like. But I kind of like this. Am I repeating myself? And this is the one that's a little bit raised. 
But even he said it's kind of hard to get it consistent with the way this is to this. I'll probably sink it down, but we'll see. Anyway, time to cut out the lock bars and all that. But I finished editing today and I'm already at like 10 minutes. And I know this will be like a video in itself, just doing the detents and the lock bars and all that stuff and the bevels. Anyway, I digress. That will be in the next video. Do me a favor. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these backspacers or anything else you want to talk about or just stop by and say, hey, what's up? I'll make sure to put my website up in the cards. It's the first down in the description along with Amazon links and all that good stuff. I got shirts on there. I got a few knives. One of the knives sold out and then four people have asked me about that same knife even though it sat there for a while. Anyway, I digress. Alright, let's see. I'll put Knife Making 101 for all you beginners right here. I'll put uh, the rest of the vlogs right here. My subscribe button is right here and my website's right here. Hope you all are having a great day and as always, take it easy.